Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, there is a video shared by Standard Digital, where Dan Manzo has reduced the wiper negotiation in Azimio La Umoja to a no Kalonzo, no Raila in Ukambani. He has insisted that wiper party will only vote for Raila Odinga if Kalonzo Musyoka is on that ballot as his preferred running mate. Now, this demand is gaining momentum in wiper party at a time when we have seen Peter Kenneth taking a back step and giving Mother Karua a space at front line as a preferred possible running mate Raila Molo Dinga. Now, Danny Manzo is insisting that Wiper Party is coming with numbers. For them, they have about 2 million votes that they are bringing on table. And their question is, what will Raila Molo Dinga's running mate bring on table if it is not Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka in terms of votes? <laughs> and uh, the Nyeri Town Member of Parliament, Gunjiri Wambugu, has responded to Wiper Party demands through a tweet. So I want us to listen to Dan Manzo's speech, and after that, shortly, we are going to go through Gunjiri uh, Wambugu tweet. Then at the end, we are also going to give our views. In the matter of uh, the Deputy President, we have seen proposals from um, Central Kenya. The question is, how many votes are they going to bring on board? Our position as a wiper party is that Deputy President should be from our party or from a uh, Oka coalition and should be one, the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Musioka. In the moment, that does not happen. Uh, we've already started to sensitizing our followers that we shall only vote for the presidential candidate of Azimir Oka if our party leader appears uh, in the ballot paper or on the ballot paper. At the moment that doesn't happen, our voters should be aware. The moment they do not see him as a, a deputy president, then we are saying no Kalonzo, no Raila. And therefore, the reason we are going to be voting for Azimir Oka is if our interest, the Honorable Kalonzo Musyoka, is on the ballot paper. The moment is not, then we are saying as a community, no Kalonzo, no Raila. And the only way our people will vote for that ballot is if our own appears there. The moment it doesn't, the best thing is to skip that particular ballot and vote for the senator, the governor, the MP, the MCA, but not vote. Now, maybe in reaction to what Dan Manzo and the Wiper Party is demanding in Azimio, this is the response from... Gunjiri Wambugu to Wipers demand, if you allow me to go through it. Mount Kenya region has 8 million voters. Raila Odinga has 30% so far, 2.4 million. When we announce the DP from Mount Kenya, it will get to 40%, 3.6 million. Once Uhuru hit the ground, it will, say, it will get to 55%, 4.4 million. Plan accordingly. Ngunjiri Wambugu, MP Nyeri Town. That's the response. Now, the fight in Azimio La Umoja, one Kenya coalition party, is not between Raila Odinga and Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. That fight is between Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka and President Uru Kenyatta, or Mount Kenya region people in Azimio. Let me put it that way. And I'm going to explain that. But before we go deep into that, I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So my humble request, please consider subscribing so that any other time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop a comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give this video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our video to more viewers. Back to our discussion. Now, when Kalonzo Musyoka joined Azimio La Umoja, 
he felt that Raila Molo Dinga has once betrayed him. So the best way he could join this as Mio was through President Uru Kenyatta. Na zani alikuwa na jingiza kwa mtego bila kujua. So Kalonzo entered into this agreement through President Uru Kenyatta. And now Kalonzo is here fighting for a running mate position for him to support Raila Molo Dinga. And at the same hand, if you look in this coalition, who else is fighting for this running mate position? Raila has no interest in running mate position. It is President Uru Kenyatta and his people who are fighting to have the running mate position. The same man Kalonzo trusted eh, to use when going into this coalition. And now Wiper is waking up to the reality that it is not going to be possible to have Stephen Kalonzo Msioka deputizing Raila Odinga in Azimio na Umoja. Because for them they are demanding that we have 2 million votes. This is what they are bringing to the table. And so there's no reason you should deny us this position. And according to Wiper people, the vote from Mount Kenya region, it, can, it cannot be a sure bet. It's a trial. They want to try. But for them, they are sure of 2 million votes. <laughs> and if I ask you a question, let's assume that President Uru Kenyatta is supporting Raila Odinga, but Kalonzo Musyoka is the running mate Raila Odinga. What vote will Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka manage to get on ballot? Because in my view, I still believe that Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Odinga can manage to win this election. And for those who are saying no, unless if you want to convince me that Musalia Mdavadi left with huge number of votes, that again, Senator Masika Wetangula with his Ford Kenya party left with a huge number of votes. In simple terms, what we are telling me is that Mdavadi and Wetangula went with about 3 million votes or 2 million votes. If that is true, then Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Odinga cannot win this election. <laughs> That's the truth. So, Kalonzo still believe that they can win this election. Because in 2013, Mudabad was not supporting Raila, but still, they had good number of votes. We all understand what played. 2017, we all understand what played. That's why Kalonzo is insisting that he should be a running mate. <laughs> and President Uru Kenyatta can only replace the vote that Mudabadi and Wetangula brought in. So meaning like one million votes. So Uru will bring on table. And now on the other side, eh, let's assume that Raila Odinga, President Uru Kenyatta, has given Raila Molo Odinga a running mate. And on that running mate, Kalonzo Musyoka is not supporting Raila Odinga. <laughs> Tell me, will President Uru Kenyatta's running mate manage to bring the vote that Kalonzo Musyoka was coming with? Will this team manage to make Raila Molo Dinga a president through the ballot? That is what Kalonzo Musyoka believe. That he has numbers, but this team don't have numbers. But Mujini Wambugu is responding to Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka. And for him, Mount Kenya has 8 million votes. Out of this 8 million, President Uru Kenyatta can manage to get a half. That means a whopping 4 million votes. So it's challenging Kalonzo Musyoka, even if you are coming with it, you are 2 million, remember we have 4 million here for Raila Odinga. So we deserve the position. <laughs> hey. The truth of the matter, in my view, is that the 8 million Gunjiro Mbuk is talking about from Mount Kenya region is in the register that is not clear. Is in the register that still has underage, there is ghost voters. And you know, if IBC can clean their record, I believe Mount Kenya region cannot manage to have the 8 million votes they are talking about. They cannot. They will be reduced to 6 or 5 million there. That's why when we come to real numbers, the truth is that lawyers have more numbers than the Kikuyus. But because of the political interests of the people of Mount Kenya region, 
the register has to say to stay dirty to serve their interest so in my view i can say that ngunjin wambugo is telling kanonga msyoka we have 2 million ghosts and we have 1 million clean hizo zingine zikijaza zenyewe so what ngunjin wambugo is communicating to wiper party is that we are bringing the system that will help Raila Amolo Dinga not to lose his exact vote that he will get on the ground because the issue is that as that has been that Raila amekuwa akipata kura lakini those people who count our vote they are the one who determine what to give Raila Amolo Dinga so the system is here to protect Raila Amolo Dinga but that's number one. number two, the ghost voters want to come from Mount Kenya region to add on this to push that Kanonga Musyoka should not be a running material Odinga because they are bringing in their votes whoever is challenging me should tell me when was the register cleaned after NASA complaining about 2017 general election so if Kalonga is still insisting that he wanted a running mate position in my view kama alikuwa ameweka hopes 90 let him please reduce it to 20% Now instead of Peter Kenneth now they are bringing Mother Karua. And for them Mother Karua will cut across the entire country because she's coming with the women card. That is what Mother Karua is bringing on board. <laughs> so what to wipe a party? Please don't waste your time. Just campaign now Kalonga Musyoka maybe from um, from a vice president he might be a minister or if there will be plans to change the constitution to make him a prime minister so be it let kalonga musyoka negotiate for a prime minister position in case that government can decide to pro to have that position if not then there is no way he will get this because even president uru kenyatta want to claim mount kenya region and the claim in Mount Kenya region, he need a stake in Raila Odinga government. So that when the vote will be counted, it will be seen that he delivered. And he has to do that. Raila has real votes, but President Uru Kenyatta has to play his game so that he will have the perception that he still control Mount Kenya region. Ghost Watayekwandan. That, that is just for President Uru Kenyatta. But Raila does not need that one to win election. What he need ni kusoma tu kura zenye zimepigwa period so this war within azimio la umoja one kenya coalition party is not healthy i think kalonga msioka president uru kenyatta and raila odinga they need to call for a meeting let them sit down and discuss negotiate then make way forward rather than what is coming in public it is not healthy because now even people are starting doubting this leadership of Azimio la Umoja. <laughs> or is Kalonga Musyoka a mole in this coalition? Is he working for William Ruto in real sense? Or he's demanding what is rightful for him? Those are the questions people are asking here. So let Wipa understand. They have 2 million votes clean but the other side is demanding they have 4 million votes they are they know how they will get the 4 million but again Raila Odinga having a running mate from Mount Kenya it is good because it will attract some good number of votes that Ruto might have enjoyed in case uh, NASA, uh, Azimio coalition does not have a running mate from there so for them to have a short top of the mountain and to win these people is to have one of them being a running mate trailer of Ding. I think this is the whole game here. But Kalonga Musyoka and his team, they need to rethink. Because the response we are seeing from Ngunjiri Wambugu and other people around Azimio La Umoja, Kalonga is just one with wipe. But 26 political parties are not going to back Kalonga Musyoka. These people will be maybe subjected to voting. And I don't think if they are going to vote in favor of Kalonga Musyoka because they are going to be whipped, they are going to be de-whipped by President Uru Kenyatta to vote with him. And Uru has the preferred person.
So Raila has no any fight in this Azimio coalition thing. What Raila Odinga is waiting for is for this team to give him a running mate. Then after that, he will be ready to go on ballot. Whether they will give him Kalonga Musioka, there is no problem with that. If it will be Mazda Karua or Peter Kenneth, no problem with that. For him, what he is waiting for is just a running mate. Then he will hit the ground running. So the fight is between President Uru Kenyatta and Stephen Kalonzo Musioka in this coalition. Or let me put it this way. The fight is between Waipa Party and Jubilee Party in Azimio Laomoja coalition. <laughs> I don't know what to think about this. But that's my view. So let us have a continuation of this conversation through the comment section. Otherwise, thank you so much for listening to me up to this far. May good God bless you and see you in our next video.